Right here, it's your girl, Mysterious Jax. You are now tuned into Ladies Night Radio Show, coming to you live from the Good News Studio. Also, here with me are my beautiful, amazing co hosts, the ladies. Hey, hey, hey y'all. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry about you. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Story of my life. Story of my life. I'm here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, guys. <laughs> it's your girl, my Sorry, I was trying, you know, we started off a little rocky. Uh, happy Friday. Hope you guys are ready for this dope-ass show hey, we have tonight. That's oh right. God. That's right. That's right. Um, I was driving, and I heard this song. I was like, why haven't we used this song yet? Yeah, um, we up in here. We are. Hey. Do you remember this song? Yep. All right. <laughs> they, used to, they used to play this song in my middle school dances. Oh, really? Yeah, it was crazy. Yep. That's hilarious. I was like bumping to it. I was like, I was getting me in the mood while I was driving over here. But anyways, it's Friday. It's your girl, Jackie. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, I was just talking to the ladies. So if you guys follow me on Instagram at mysterious.jax, you'll know that I've been working my little butt off at the gym. I've gone uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I didn't go today or Monday. And I lost five pounds. Yay! Woo! 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 Congratulations! Woo! <laughs> Summer is over, but we still getting ready. That's, That's right. right. She getting for fuck boy fall. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Jackie says she getting ready for cuffing season. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're a hot mess. I can't believe you just said that. I was just trying to get healthy and strong. Our, mm. I just joined my softball season again, and I hey. haven't been doing too well, so I was a little disappointed. So that really definitely motivated me. Like, yes. I hit better than this. What is going on? So I hit the gym and I started working out, and I'm so shout out to my trainer Matt. Um, if you guys follow me, you also know that I tag him all the time, Coach Matt. I can't remember his hey, full. Hey, I think it's Matt? Coach Matt nineteen. Shout out to Matt. You're holding me down. You are uh, sending me all the workouts and motivating me. So sending me messages that I got this. So. Thank you. If you guys need a trainer, check him out. He is really, really good. Um, since I hurt my back, he has definitely been modifying my workouts and kind of giving me workouts that still make me sweat, but they're not as hard on my back. So shout out to Matt. If you guys are looking for a trainer, he is freaking dope. So check him out. And I'm going to post my before and after in 30 days. So y'all be ready. And I know you're going to be sliding in Matt's DMs once I post this picture. I'm just letting y'all know. And a fine hey. ass trainer at that. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've seen the pictures, Jackie. <laughs> How can you? I try to suck it in as I be working out. Good Lord. He's just so fine. He is. That's also another motivation, right? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to arch my back? You want me to suck? I like this. Hold it. But what you want me to do, Matt? And I'll, honestly, I usually don't like working out with hot guys because it's like it can become a distraction. Mm. But because I know him personally, I went to school with him. I went to high school with him. He's the homie. So, you know, it's like eye candy, but he's also like the homie. You know what you should do? What? You should reenact the ghost movie, but just as a workout. What? What do you mean? <laughs> like, tell him to ho- help you, like, you know, spot you. And you know of- Maria <laughs> likes getting picked up. <laughs> She does. She said, like, "Oh, can you can you come squat behind me? I don't know yes, how to do a squat. Yes. <laughs> Go down with me. Wait, wait, oh my am I god! Going down? <laughs> Imagine. Oh no, 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 no. That's yes, hilarious. Honey. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so it's it's a good it's a good thing. So uh, if you guys need to some help to get motivated, for sure, Matt will help y'all. So uh, <laughs> you are too much though. I'm gonna slide in I'll, Matt's DMs. I don't know if you can slide in his DMs <laughs> just yet, Maria. I'm a little worried for Matt. <laughs> Anyways, how's how's your week been, Maria? It's been good. Um, I've actually also been in the gym. Um, it, woo woo. It, yes, power to us, right? Yeah, I mean, we motivate out. each other. So, yes. um, Jackie, you know your your Instagram stories kind of motivate me as well. Sometimes I wake up and I'm a little tired, so I make sure that I make it to the gym. Um, aside from that, just been good. Just you know, taking it one day at a time. What about you, Mar? Um, this week went by really fast for oh, me. Oh yeah, definitely. it did. Um, it's been good. It hasn't been too 
um, yeah, it hasn't been too too much work, so it's been good. Can't complain. Definitely. Oh yeah, so it's been good. It's been good. I, I was gonna tell you. Uh, remember when I called you? I called Maria. I think on on Monday or Tuesday, and I told you <laughs> that my car battery had died yeah. at the car wash. I went to this new car wash that it was like one of those you drive in and then you vacuum yourself. I was like, this shit is only oh, five dollars. It's in Tanella. It's no, it's on no. Imperial. It's in Hawthorne. Oh, there's one right by your house. It's five dollars. And oh, in the drive- in the gas station. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Not no? The gas station. It's right on the corner. It's right. Is it right across the street from Papa's? Oh, I don't know that one. So the one I went to is like this new one. It's off of uh, it's off of Imperial and I think Inglewood, and it's like only five dollars. Well, I mean, there's different packages, but I didn't need no wax on my damn car, <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna do the five dollar one. So I'm doing it. It's like I have not been in a car wash like that in forever. So this is so dope. I was recording. It. I didn't post any of it, but I was recording it. <laughs> so I ended up. Then there's like a bunch of parking. There's like uh, like twenty five parking spots for you to vacuum your car, and I was vacuuming it, and I left my my keys in the car but i turned off the car and i just had the radio on i'm vacuuming i'm vacuuming the next thing i know that shit i don't hear nothing i was like what's going on my radio where's my music and i was like oh no i think my battery died (laughs) sure enough my battery was dead i was like oh god and so you know what makes me like appreciate having a big family was this moment because the people that are like used to being on their i'm used to being on my own but i'm also rely a lot on my family that instead of me asking, like, the people that work there, I called my sister Maria, and she didn't answer me, of course, because she never does. And oh, then I Lord. hit up Here my brother. I hit up my brother, Rafa, and he answered because he lives in the area. I was like, bro, please tell me you're nearby. He's like, I'll be, I will be, like, in 10 minutes. What's up? He's like, I was like, my battery died. Can you come jump me? And he's like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. So I sure enough, as soon as he got there, um, the lady was that was parked next to me. I asked her if she could move, and she did. So my <laughs> brother could come in, and he charged my, my battery. And then here comes the employee from the car wash. Like, what's going on? Your battery's dead? You could have just asked us. And my brother's like, why didn't you ask them? I was like, I don't know. In my head, I was like, because I got you guys. That's why. <laughs> why am I going to bother these people when I got brothers and sisters? There's eight of us, damn it. I'm going to call one of y'all. That's fucked up. I'm going to with this story. <laughs> I called your ass and back. You did call me you back, but by then Rafa was already on his way to help me. So shout out to my bro. When you first started the story and you said I called Maria, I'm picturing as you're going, Maria pulling up and shit with the jumpers. and That like, would have been totally okay. me, but <laughs> I didn't answer my phone because I was picking up Anissa. No, so. she never answers her phone. So just let, FYI. Let me tell you, since you're talking about a car, I had a dream that I played the lotto. <laughs> and this is fucking crazy how you're talking about your car. And I'm like, who would I take care of when it and so I gave everybody my everybody like, you know, some money and stuff like that and I got Jackie a new car. <gasps> I oh swear to God. God. Call it I it. swear to God. Oh. You know what I think you should do? I think you should play the lottery tonight. You know what? Please. Let me, the day I'll drive you. you. So this, <laughs> is, into this is why this is why I had a dream about it. Give me about ten G's while I went to the gas station, win. I filled up my tank and it was sixty seven dollars and seventy seven cents. So I'm like three seven right in a row and then I go and I get a receipt and my change was like 11 11 and I'm like what the hell like and that day I'm like dude I need to play the lotto I need to play the lotto and I didn't play the lotto but I had a dream that I played it and I won and then I and I bought you know took care of a bunch of people but I got Jackie a car oh my Uh, god so I love you girl oh my uh, god I I do need a new car tonight when you leave here (laughs) go get you a damn lotto it's like 50 million or something right now but it was 225 40 yeah at that time I said we all put five dollars in so shout out to Ray. She's in the chat room. Hi, Ray. She says, hey, ladies. <laughs> Thank you for joining us in the chat box. Yes. Um, we are here and just sharing our little week of today. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into our first segment of the night, which, of course, is cheese man. You know what I mean? All right. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it oh, up. Oye, yeah. oye. Oh, yeah. Nena, yo tengo un chisme que te... <laughs> oh, oh, Fidelia. Mira, yo tengo una clase de chisme de otro Her mundo. So <laughs> okay, mix up, girl. I see you, Jackie. Drop it, butter. Drop it, butter. Drop it, butter. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mara over here again. No pictures, please. No pictures. 
No, I literally YouTube these. Shout out to the Louis Life. I saw. I love that freaking remix. And shout out to uh, Jenny Lorenzo. Yeah, those are the people's uh, info I've been using. So in case they come for me, you know, I'm giving y'all credit. <laughs> it's yours, not mine. We have no rights. We have no rights. But uh, yeah, I just love. I love the mix. Anyways, so here's the cheese man for today. <clears throat> does it, everybody? Does it, Maria, what's your favorite ice cream? Um, really quick. I would say rainbow. Okay, Maria, what's your favorite? Um, I like strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry Ooh. cheesecake. Cozy, what's your favorite? Ice cream? Yeah. Um, anything chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Do you guys like mint? I do like yes. mint. Yes. All right. Well, I like mint chocolate how, chips. How yes. does peach mint sound to you? No. Um, no? That does, no, I'm not a big che- uh, peach fan. So. Well, peach, you might be no. after this. The Democrats have finally been moved <laughs> forward <laughs> with impeachment in the <laughs> president. <laughs> 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 Hold up, ice cream and peach. Impeach mint. Impeach mint. Hey, shout out to my uh, producer over here. Yes. She's getting clever with Get her writing. Um, of course, not all the uh, GOP is happy about it. Trump has probably done many things to deserve being removed from the White House. But the final draw was when he was caught having talks with the Ukraine over probing into political opponents. Uh, Biden. Yeah. It all boils down to his thinking. He's invincible and his blatant. He actually thinks he's above the law. Let's hope we can prove him wrong. So it is in the works of people that they are moving forward to impeaching Trump. Do you think it'll happen, Maria? That's the question. I I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen, even though in his uh, State of the Union, he looked like a dog with his <laughs> tail between his legs. And he was trying to make up excuses. And then he was trying to throw the uh, um, what's his vice president. Yeah. Listen to his conversations, too, because he also had conversations with uh, the UK or whoever he is um, president. Yeah, so, yeah, Ukraine. Thank you. But he, he I, I don't think that it's going to happen. And honestly, I think that it'd be best if we just leave that orange motherfucker just stay until it's time for us to go into voting and then vote him off. Because I honestly don't think that um, the vice president's going to be any better. If anything, I I really believe that he's going to be worse. What do you think, Meyer? Do you think they're going to impeach Trump? That's the question. I don't think he's going to get impeached. No. 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 I don't think so either. But, I mean, mm-hmm. the fact that they are at least, you know. It's good that they're they're moving yeah. forward with the process, but I doubt that it's going to And that happen. it goes down in history yeah. as not only is he, like, the one of the worst presidents, but also that that was yeah. right up his alley. So, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so I see a lot of you guys in the chat box. What's going on? Diddy, Diddy says, sup? What's up, Diddy? Shout out to Diddy. Diddy gave, uh, actually took so many uh, videos of the showcase and turning it into magic. Like, it makes me want to just go back to that night. It was so fun. Shout out, Diddy, for all that hard work. With the exception of the dance. (laughs) You hey, you busted out some salsa when Girl. we needed some young jock, but I'm it's all good. I'm tired of the damn junk jock. I was like, I can only do this for a few seconds, and but I'm that done. was the that was the whole game. Yeah, <laughs> and then I just started a whole fucking. Oh my god! Over here. Moving on to the next uh, seg- uh, cheese man is in case number five thousand on white people's tears. Uh, we bring you Amber. Geyer, who has taken the stand today, giving her version of events regarding the night she killed Botham Jean, a 26 year old black man in Dallas, a night she was in fear, quote unquote, fear of her life. Let's backtrack. Geyer entered Jean's apartment thinking it was her own. Upon seeing Jean, you know, chilling, you know, chilling because he was in his own apartment. He shoots his. She. Oh, she shoots him dead and hesitates to get help. On the stand, she tells his grieving parents, it's not about hate, it's about being scared. Lips shaking, voice quivering, and awe. A skill we do hope she perfects during a lifetime sentence in prison. The trial is still going, so we'll see what happens. But based off history, we may already know. Yeah. I know, Maria, you were speaking on this um, earlier. What, what, what's, what are you thinking? So I have a lot of questions because, you know, I... I I want to give props to the media because normally they're like, oh, you know, this this white lady, she was very scared for her life and blah, blah, blah. But 
they did give some facts about her and you know they did say that she was a little problematic and i'm i'm quoting them in the uh, video that I saw. But I also have some questions with how the fuck do you go one floor different from what you normally do? I get you're working a 14 hour shift, but you go one floor different from where you normally live. You enter the house but, I mean, me, if I go into a house, I'm going to see that everything's different. The whole setup, everything's exactly. different. How do you not know, like, this doesn't look right to me? This is not I read house. somewhere I that like she was she was sexting while she was entering. So she wasn't even paying attention. That's okay, what I read, Okay, but it takes too. a while for you to get your gun, right? Right. And first thing is, as a police, you know, you got to give, you know, you got to give, like, like, hey, you know, police, get down or, or sit down or whatever. You, you don't, like, go on instinct. Right. Like not instinct, but like off of like her fear, or whatever the hell it was like you. I, I, it just and then how the hell did she get into his apartment? Was his door open? Like there's so many questions for me. And then I feel like her tears. Yes. I don't think that her tears are more like because she killed him. I think that her tears are more like, fuck, I could get life off of this. Like, oh, my God. Like, I don't I don't know, you know, where this is going to turn out. So she's trying to give it to the jury. And then like after she does what she does, like, of course, you know, her colleagues are coming to her help, putting in her putting her in the car and, you know, in the front seat and she over here on her phone like they don't even treat her like somebody who just murdered this man who was in his house yeah it's it's just a lot going on what are your thoughts Myra she's I mean I agree with Maria there there's she parked the whole floor like the whole different floor she passed like 16 apartments before she got to hers and um she missed according to what the whatever was going on so if you guys I don't mean to cut you off but if you guys were on the jury what would your decision be I mean, when you're in a jury, you have to listen to all the yeah, facts. Yeah, I would. But, I would love to but listen to. I'm, that. I'm, I'm 100 percent sure she missed every, a lot yeah. of fucking details. Yeah. I mean, how do you like? I'm sure the mat was her. His door was open. There was a different mat there. There's, and then I think they even asked, like, is there was there any probable cause that, um, would justify her shooting None. him? None at None. all. Yeah, she, yeah, didn't, she, she didn't she, question she, him or nothing. Yeah, I'll throw her ass in the jail yeah. real quick. No, for yeah, real. You yeah. know why? Because she'll get the highest. Sentence. We have to set like we have to set <clears throat> something. She crossed we so to, many fucking dude. boundaries, dude. You went in. You broke. That's breaking and entering. Yeah. You know, if you weren't a cop, if you were a random person, that's breaking and entering, and yeah. you right. went into somebody's Say house it, and Myra. killed them. Yes. Well, isn't you know it know still I mean? breaking and entering, even if she's if she is a cop, but it's she's off duty. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. I don't know. Moving forward to the next segment, uh, Chisme is leave it up to birth control. A study has recently released stating that the birth control pill can affect who you're attracted to, fall in love with, and have sex with. This little pill that keeps women from getting pregnant actually controls their desires. It's also discovered that women on the pill are attracted to less masculine men and have low interest in sex, it states. When you're on the pill, how do you say this word, Kosi? (laughs) Progesterone? dominates progesterone progesterone dominates the entire cycle and rather than experiencing an increased preference for sexy men at high fertility like naturally cycling women do pill taking women exhibit an unwavering preference for men with less masculine faces and voices um we didn't sign up for this though ladies are you on the pill hold that thought though there's more (laughs) cozy talk it's called progesterone. It's a it's a hormone that we mm-hmm. have. So when we take um, birth control pills, it controls that hormone and potentially controls who we're attracted to, who we want to sleep with. And that's why I'm not fucking on it. <laughs> I agree, Cozy. <laughs> well, damn. I don't need nothing manipulating me. No. Hey, Hell no. I don't know if I ever I told you guys this decisions. a random fact about Cozy, but back in college, she had this nickname. I don't know if you guys would ever have guessed oh, it, Lord. but her nickname was UC Freak for Undercover Freak. Uh, <laughs> hey, Cozy. That was, that was the past life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> No, How you still is- undercover. You're not even undercover. Nah, she's- you just freak. Yeah, she's just a freak now. <laughs> you're just a freak now. Yeah, freak not- you're not undercover no more. Freak mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, full blown, full blown I don't know if I believe that or if that's that's a proven research, Cozy. Yeah, 
It was just, it's just, um, I was doing research today. I was looking at the news. I was looking at the news today, and that was the first thing that popped up in my news feed. That's crazy. Yeah. Does it like determine? Well, okay. I was, I, never mind. I'm not going to go into just, that. It's manipulating your hormones. Yeah, I couldn't do it. So it's just like, no, sorry. I mean, I don't know. I, I be mean, doing the old school I think methods. every every woman will react to it differently. Yeah. Maybe, you know. Who knows? All right. Well, that wraps up the cheese man for you have two today. <laughs> what? What? What Myra say? <laughs> say. Have two, two feminine emotional motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 Oh They'll both be God. laying down crying and shit, yeah. having sex. <laughs> how, how does it feel? It's like, oh, I loved it. Thanks. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Jerry, my Bessie's in the house. Hi, Jerry. Woo-woo. I was wondering oh, who Bad News Jerry was. I'm like, who is Bad News Jerry? Okay. <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> the one and only. All right, so I thought we were gonna play truth or shot, but I guess we're not. We're playing five second rule, so oh, you fuck. know what that means. It's game time. Hey. I had to change it up because Chris kept threatening to sue us because oh <laughs> he works Fucking for CBS. <laughs> um, all right. So here is uh, the game. You guys know how to play five seconds, right? You have five seconds to name three things. And the loser has to take a shot of vodka because that's what I got. All right. And the, and the game is between Myra and, and Maria. All right. If you're, in the, if you're in the group chat or if you're in the chat box, I mean, pick a side right now. Is it Myra going to win or is Maria going to win? Or are they both going to lose? Let us know oh. and we will shout you out on our Instagram. Make sure you guys say it right now. Say Myra's going to win or Maria's going to win. Come or, on, come on, come or on. Say Team, Team Maria, Team Myra. Or, Jerry already said Maria. Or nobody's going to win. <laughs> he said Maria, you know. No, <laughs> that's it. That's what, that's all she saw. <laughs> pick a side, pick a side. Team Maria or Team Myra? Let's go. And if you get it right, we were gonna ch- shout you out on our Instagram. So go with the team right now. We're waiting. We're waiting. Doo-doo. Damn, Cosi, like the, that? So, she, yeah, Cosi hating on the Jesus. Lo- the, lo- the loser, the loser has to take a shot. And if they both lose, then they both got to take a shot of vodka. And I brought some Tito's vodka. I got some cups. Uh, Myra, I know you're not drinking, but you're gonna have to take at least a little shot of this. So. <laughs> hey. Hey, go Myra. Go Myra. <laughs> hey, shout out to these red cups that I put right here on the table that nobody uses but us because they're still here. So, yeah. Wait, are they dirty? No, they're good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Once again, Team Myra or Team Maria, say it right now. Say it right now. Here we go. All right, who wants to go first? Wow, Team Maria is tough in the chat. I <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Ready? And you have to go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Just rock, paper, one, scissors, shoot. Just go one, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, you saw me before. No, no. she did one thing, girl. No. Okay, no. go first. They, no, you go first. Oh, shit. You lost. Oh. You. You lost. <laughs> two out of three. Two out of three. <laughs> All right, do it again. Okay, go. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, you're going too slow. Okay, you go rock. one, two, three. Okay. Well, she's saying rock. Paper, no, scissors. forget you should, that. You should do that, a rhythm. Too you much. should do no, a rhythm. One, two, three is okay. the rhythm. Rock, Ready? Paper, Here we go. One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> Damn. Hey, that's like me, and Michael, and two and zero oh right there. Boom. All right. Let's Michael go. said he let me win. How you let me win on nah. rock paper scissors? Mm-hmm. He's trying to take my W. He was nervous. Yeah, I beat him really good on rock paper scissors. Anyways, I love you, Michael. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready? All right, go. All right, here we go. Maria. And I'm going to do a two out of three. I like Maria. 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 That's the first. Two out of three. Two I out heard of Marie. Two out Maria. Of, two out of three, okay? Yeah, two out of three is the winner. So you get two rounds. Here we go. First round, Maria. Name three. Stop. Don't play. Put five seconds on it. You got zero. You got five? Okay. Because last time she gave me five minutes, so I want to make sure she does it right. I was hoping you, I think you still lost. I won. All right, ready? Name three green vegetables. Go. Asparagus, um, broccoli, and lettuce, and um, chiching, and uh, yeah, done. 
Thick. Is lettuce a vegetable? Because yeah. yep. it's like water. Nope. Okay. It's different All type right. of lettuce. All right. We'll get one point for Maria. Mm-hmm. One point for Maria. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh, Myra, <laughs> you ready? Maria. <laughs> and Myra. Myra. One point for Maria. And Myra's turn. Here we go. Myra, name three baseball teams. Go. Dodgers, Angels, uh, uh, A's, Oakland A's. Oh! Nice, no. nice, nice, nice. California right. team. Score was- is one and one. Score is oh, one and one. Mercy. Hey, shout out to KB, Henny Kenny, Tainted Rock, Paper Scissors again. Okay, yes. first of all, KB, no, he was on the black squad. That's why he's saying that. I won that game fair. Well, I'm square, talking about KB. right now. And KB, uh, Myra, just so you know, KB showed up to the showcase with a bottle of Jameson for you and your birthday. And I heard. And we drank it mm-hmm. all because you no weren't alcohol. there and there was no alcohol. <laughs> 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 but I told, right. I told them I would buy you a new one. Yeah. But we actually want to go, KB, we want to go to Touchdown and Tangents one of these Thursdays and bring you guys a bottle of whiskey to celebrate your three years. So let us know what's a good Thursday. I know Pete does not like people in the audience in the studio, but just we will just drop it off. How about that? How about that? And KB says conflict of interest. <laughs> hey, do not. OK, Michael lost the rock, paper, scissors, fair and square. I beat him. All right. Here's the next one. Maria, you ready? I just want to know why is Jerry putting the thinking face? Did Myra not beat the five seconds? She did. She oh, beat I it. Did. She I beat did. it. So don't, right now the don't score start digging, Maria. The score is one and one. Maria, you ready? You ready? All right. <clears throat> Here we go, Maria. Ah, Jesus. Maria, you have five seconds okay. to name three foods to eat on Thanksgiving. Go. Uh stuffing, um, sweet potato, mac and cheese, uh, potato salad, uh, mashed potatoes, turkey. Um, okay. All right, you got Girl, it. Girl, I you no know, messing with you, you might not accept one. So I got to make sure I give you at least five. <laughs> Shit. I didn't accept any of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, here we go. Myra, are you ready? Yes. All right. I might do a tiebreaker, y'all. All right, here we go. M- Myra. Name. Wait, did you guys see this, the chat box? Wow. Kenny said anytime. Just, Thanks. Yeah. Any Thursday, fuck what Pete said. <laughs> All right, Kenny, we got you. We're going to bring your bottle of whiskey of Jameson. All right, go back to my. All right, right now the score is two. Maria, Myra, one. Myra, you got two. You need this You need this win to stay in the game. Here we go. Myra. Your shoes you have, are untied. <laughs> <laughs> you have five seconds to name three things that pass through the body. Go. Shit, piss, water, oh! food. Oh! Because it's a it's a it's a close game. I'm gonna do another rock paper scissors. So oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, and then the loser got to take a shot of vodka. I'm gonna pour the shot right now. All right, let's see, guys. Here How does shit pass through the body and piss pass through the body? That's food that yeah. turns into shit. No, but That's it's not. No, it doesn't pass through the body. Pee yeah. does not pass through the body. Well, you, water passes. through the body. Have you ever seen two girls one cup? They ate that shit and it went through. So, so you tell me that you drink piss <laughs> it's now? It's possible. Hey, people eat drink piss. It has to Myra come out. does not drink piss. It didn't and say she, she eat shit. It, it didn't say she had to. It's I don't Maria. know. I Maria, don't know. Do you want? See? Do you want? Do you want to win? You, you can have it. Controversy. All right. Here we no. The the loser has to take the shot. Here we go. Rock paper scissors. I ain't taking no shot. Rock paper. If you lose, you got to. So you better not lose. Here we go. She already lost. No, it's two and two. You see, you got... Oh, Lord. All right, on the count of three. Rock, paper, scissors. Wait, really quick. Decide on it right now, the rhythm. Decide on the rhythm. Decide on the rhythm. Decide. This is a a practice run. Practice run. Decide on the rhythm. Already lost. Rock, paper, scissors. One, two, three. And no, one, you go two, one, two, and then on three, you do Okay, on three. She wants on to do on three. three. One, so two, do three. a practice one real quick. Okay. okay. All right, here's the real thing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, oh Myra lost. God knows it doesn't run through their body. So that's why I got, see? Mm-hmm. Look, she faking over here. If you seen two girls in one cup, you know that shit. They ate that shit, and it went through their body, and it came out. So. I'm fast. I can get you know oh what? My um, God. I've never seen that. Thank you, Kenny. Kenny says shit forms in the body and then you excel it. it so goes it doesn't through. run through your body. But it still has to get through to come through out. Through is through your mouth and down to your all booty right, hole. Right, all There's right. people that eat shit and drink piss. It ain't us. But that ain't you. She didn't say what runs through your body. <laughs> 
I, I think that? that was the question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She didn't say through your body, through the body. It's gang time. Hey, Maria won. Hey. You're, You're, so You're so petty. You're so petty. You're so petty. Did you drink it really? Yeah. Oh. I'm a hustler, baby. All right. <laughs> so that wraps up game time. You're such a freaking hater. All right. All right, so you know what time it is. It's time for Myra's question of the night. So let me know, let me know. Can I get a question Can I get an answer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Question of the night is, if you were given a book with, your, with the story of your life, would you read the end? Would you read the end? Yeah. Or would you read it? Would you read it? So, okay. If, when you first told me this, it was just read it, not oh, the end. Okay, okay. If you were giving, if you were given a book with the story of your life, would you read it? Is the question. Would you read the book? So, shout out to everybody in the chat box. We see you guys. Hey, Mark. Sports Talk with Mark. Catch him on, on Good News Sports. So, he says, I jump into listen and immediately hear folks talking about piss and shit. The hell's going on? <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's what goes on in ladies' night. You know, we just talk about shit yeah, and piss and shit and shit. It's real nasty. Yeah, talking about people <laughs> eating it and drinking it. Have nasty. you guys not seen two girls, one cup? I'm just saying. I have people, not. People, the, the two I girls, they created a porno, and the part of the porno was the girl was taking a shit, the girl got a cup and put oh. it on her ass, and that shit was coming out, and then she started eating the shit. <laughs> this, is literally, <laughs> this was, that was the porno. It was Wait two girls, minute. one cup. What, what type, type of, of shit? How is this even sexy? I don't get it's it. Not that's why it was a big deal. That's why it was everybody knows about two girls one <sighs> cup because that's what it was a big deal because this was not sexy to most people in the world and that's why it was a big deal when this shit came well, thank, out. Thank goodness you've watched that because you. <laughs> I, I, I was able to pass that question. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. I had to see. It. I heard it about it and I was like, wait, what is? What do you mean two so girls one cup? So the question was uh, for game time. What runs through your body? And Myra says shit and piss and food and food. Wait, but wait, shit wait, wait, and piss wait. does not run through your body. Okay, wait. Let's go back to the question of the night. What's the question of the night, Myra? Question of the night. If you were given a book with the story of your life, would you read it? So if you were given a book with the story of your life, would I read it? Yep. Damn, Kyrie says, hell yeah, to the end. Kyrie, mm -hmm. but Kyrie, yeah. you, you don't know the end yet because you're still living your life, so. right? I, but he's just saying if somebody he did, not at any point in his life, but if he would get one, he would read it till the end. Same as me, my life is very interesting. So, I definitely yes. would read certain chapters of my book. I feel like some chapters. I'd be a millionaire. Oh, go ahead, Kosi. Go ahead. You got to move no, the mic. In the chat box. You can't take my answer. What'd you say? I said I would read certain parts of it. I wouldn't. Just Read it from the beginning. Oh, I didn't see it. that. Okay. Jackie over here. I didn't know. You stealing comments, girl? I'm you stealing, stealing ideas? Don't be stealing Jackie ideas. Jackie I think alike. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I would definitely want to read it. Um, wait, am I the writer of my book? Yeah. Or is somebody write, else write it and I'm like their You're, perspective look, on it? Our stories are already written. We're just living in it. I feel it. I feel it. Um, I would definitely read it then. Right? Fuck what yeah. if you What if you start reading? You get to like chapter thirteen. And I'm gonna you're start like, crying. You're like, oh <laughs> hell no! I went I through this, on fire. bitch. You'd be like, what the fuck was I doing? Oh my! Oh hell! I would be like freaking cringy and like, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Oh shit! She did it. Yeah. <laughs> wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> and then you're like, okay, close the book, and then we'll do it again. Oh my god! That, you're gonna do it again, bitch! Oh I my... already know not to do this shit. Yeah, I'm man. so fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> don't go that way. The police is that way. You're gonna get arrested. Don't, don't you fucking don't do it. Don't. Fuck. Yeah, I definitely read it. <laughs> and, right, and you couldn't change anything because that's the way it's written. That's the way it's written. That's it. It's this done. bitch is stuck at the car wash <laughs> asking her fucking brother for a damn jump. She ain't got the point yet. How many times? No. <laughs> but damn, what if you make a lot of mistakes and you're like, well, what if you like let's what if you read that book up to your this chapter of your life? Would you? Be like, damn, man, what the fuck? 
don't do that shit. Oh my god, I can't believe I. My did book that. would have a lot of details, and I would definitely read yes. that. Yes. <laughs> would you be disappointed in any of those chapters up oh, until now? Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah, the I would definitely part be of life, but that's growing. part of the story. Yes. And then there's like happy, you know, parts of it. There's celebrating parts. There's sad parts. But at the end of the day, it's a fucking interesting story. So right. I would freaking read that. And then I'd be a fucking millionaire you would, behind and my book. Read, so you will read the end. Yes. I would. I would want to read the end. So Kenny, shout out to KB. He says, I do a director's commentary of my life and make (laughs) make it a TDT, Touchdown and Tangents episode. I'm going to have Samuel L. Jackson, Cat Williams, and Slim Johnson read versions (laughs) of it and sell that shit. Hey, that sounds like a good book, KB. I'd read that shit. And from just knowing some of your stories, uh, you guys have a lot of stories to tell. So um, I know Kyrie's in there. Kosi's in there. Mark, what's going on, Maria? What's going on over there? So Mark said, nope, I ain't reading it. Uh, may not read the book itself, he said. So he, I, I guess... mean, not even the Mark, book you got to have some in- interesting points in your life for you to want to read your damn book. Go back. No, 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 it's fine. How it was. So... It's because Kosi was moving the, the oh, chat okay, box. Okay. So, so I remember um, last month, I think I asked the question, if you were given an envelope with the exact date of your death, would you open it? Oh, Hell no. No, no. So no, a lot no. of you guys said no. I said yes, but now you are you would read your whole book till the end. But that's a difference. The, uh, this is but my sh- life story. Because yeah, the other because one is what day I'm going to die. So, so would you just not read the end then? Because in the book, there's an end. Well, of course. Cause so I would read it, but the end doesn't necessarily tell no, you what and yeah. how you're going to die. It just says, and that was the end. Unless it doesn't like say, and she lived happily ever after. Well, or she, lived, she doesn't say, she was stabbed to death in the kitchen. Last. <laughs> she was 64. And Posty yeah. woke up super drunk and went to Jackie's <laughs> room. It could, it could be an end of a certain, uh, oh, a certain part of your life, a certain chapter of your life, and not necessarily the end of your life. Versus having an end date in an envelope? No, nah, I would light that shit yeah. on fire. Yeah. Yeah, not me. Well, that's a good question, Myra. That was a good one. Did everybody answer it in here? Yep. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. I love it. I think it. for the most part, we all would read our own books. Yeah, we have some interesting yeah. lives. Yeah. I mean, that's why we have a radio show because I'll we start have taking posted notes so sh- much stuff to say. I'll be highlighting events like, okay, <laughs> put the shit in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a question for ya? Can I get an answer? Yeah. So I saw this video of of a Chris Brown concert, and this girl had a sign. So he was doing like a freak um, dance move, and all of a sudden he stops in the middle of his dance, grabs the sign, and says, "Will you fuck me?" And this girl had this poster that said, "Will you fuck me, Chris Brown?" What did he say? Well, he didn't say nothing. He I just was dancing yeah. with it. And yeah, he just. I saw him uh, pick up somebody's underwears and put him over her, over his shoulder, and keep on singing. Oh, and really? Like, okay. okay, okay. And the girl was going crazy. He got my underwears on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl. Okay. You wouldn't do that. Lies. I have lies. Done it. Lies. Ramona Yala. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when you like a musician, it's based on his music, and I love. No, it's not. Like, well, me. me. <laughs> Ramona, like, I'm sorry, but know. you can't be yeah. ugly as fuck and start singing to me and think I'm gonna just be like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would do that for Justin Timberlake. Music. Justin Timberlake can get it. Ramona has. He's an idol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely could get it for sure. Ew, for oh. real, Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Oh, yeah. Justin's cute. You, Justin Timberlake, is not your type. Get out of here. No, I say he's cute. I didn't say he's oh, my type. Okay. Get it All right. All right. Check it out. Hey, where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies Can I just say, um, KB said that uh, he would rather read an ancestor life because he'd know that that shit would be wild. And let me tell you, I agree with him. Yeah, I, I would agree. love I agree. To, to read a little bit about my ancestors. I know we'd be having. I some was watching crazy a movie the other that. day about um, someone who moved into a house. I don't know if it was a movie. Honestly, I can't remember. But a couple that moved into a house and they um, they found a bunch of stories of couples. Oh, it was that Christina Milian <laughs> movie I think on Netflix. Oh yeah, I saw. Yeah, it. didn't they find stories of yeah. a couple that was that would writing be nice. letters, love letters. They were writing love letters to each other, and then finally they they that would be nice to to like 
read other people's real stories. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. Well, now let's jump into tonight's topic because that's why everybody's here. I already know. I see you guys in the chat box. I know why you're here. <laughs> I know why you're here. All right. Well, yeah, this did. question has what they caused want. a lot of freaking comments in the DMs of Ladies Night and Mysterious Jacks because people had a lot of shit to say. Let me go pull it up. All right. So the question for this is, do men enjoy sex more than women? And there was a lot of people that answered yes. Surprisingly, a lot of women too. So that's very interesting that this happened because... So within this week, I've had like three conversations with three different guys and they all tell me the same thing, that women start off as freaks and then once they get into a relationship, the sex dwindles down and sometimes just stops. So the guys say if they enjoyed as much as them, then the ladies would keep up the momentum. So how do you guys feel about that that statement that like guys guys out there are really thinking that they enjoy sex more than than women do you guys agree with that statement maria let's start with you i think it depends on the age um what age are you asking this question um if you're asking like in the 20s And even maybe early 30s, I would say yes, because it's hard for a woman or not hard, but most women do not accept their body and are too much into like, oh, don't turn on the light or oh, let me just lay here. And so men are more about like nutting and not really like giving the woman what she needs. Right. But if you're talking to a woman that's in her mid to late 30s and even her 40s or 50s, they already know what they want and they know what they need. So they're going to go on ahead and make sure that, you know, they they are sure about their body and they're going to give it their all. So I just think, think that it depends on the age of who you're asking. And that's the answer that you'll get um, me at my age. Now, I would say that. No, wait, you're saying men enjoy it more, right? Checking? Yes, that's okay. what I'm saying. No, uh, I would say no at this point because, like, I'm going to make sure that I enjoy it and I I go on ahead and, you know, do what I got to do. So, producer Cozy got something to say. Go, What's up, Cozy? No, it's just interesting that you mentioned age because I think something that we need to understand is that men reach their sexual peak at 18, whereas women reach it at 35. Mm. So, um, yeah, so women in our age, our age bracket, you know, we definitely know what we want, but that does not mean that when we were 18, 19, 20, that we didn't enjoy sex as much as men. It's just that we know what we want. So well, you were we, also but I'm gonna the freak. Say, I'm going to say, no, I'm going to say this, though. At that age, when you're that <laughs> you young, you don't know oh, your body exactly. enough to know what you like exactly. and what you want, which I think that's what Maria was saying, so that as 18, let's say an 18-year-old boy, yeah, 18-year-old boys are super fucking horny, but they don't know what they like yet. They just know that, so, let me get it in, let me get it in. It's like a freaking jerk. It's like a Right, so we're more selective as we're older because we know what we want. We're more selective. And girls, they go with the flow at that young age because they know that they want it, but they don't know what pleases them yet. And as they get older, they get to know their bodies. They understand more about themselves, what turns them on and stuff. But the men that I was talking to were in their, like, I want to say 25 and older. And some of them were in relationships and some of them were not. And they were just kind of telling me, like, when they got in a relationship, or when they were dating the girl, let's say they were, I don't know, 29, and they started dating the girl. Both of them are having sex, like, all the time. Like, they're, they, as soon as they see each other, they go and just have amazing sex. The sex is so good. But then out of, like, after they become, like, boyfriend-girlfriend, they've been together for about three years, um, all of a sudden, it's, n- like, he's still feeling the same, right? So he's, So this is how he told me. He's like, He's like, let me tell you this. So when girls go out, they go out, they have a few drinks, and after a few drinks, they get horny, right? This is what he was telling me. He's like, so that's how guys feel all the time. We feel horny all the time. But you girls have that like that feeling mostly when you go out and you have a good time and you drink. So there's a little difference in there. So he was saying that like, as men, you know, sometimes we come home, we're tired, but if you said you want to, if you're my girl and you want to have sex, hey, what? Let's go. Let's have sex. But if you come home as a woman and you're saying, you know, I'm tired, 
you're not going to want to have sex even though so it's like the men will you know get out of their tiredness and go have sex but the women they come home from a long day of work whatever and they're just like i'm not in the mood it's not happening and he they were saying like that's not fair that's not okay so what is he doing to and i asked them that i said well are you still he and they and they said Listen, Jackie, when we have sex, it's amazing. The sex is amazing. But it's to get them to that point of wanting to do it is the, the tough part. I think job. that's sex drive. That that That's the, a woman's sexual yeah. sex drive. So that's going to depend on... You know, but let's say the guy, let's say, let's say you were at home, you got home at four, Meyer. Let's say you got home at four, you started cooking, you got the kids to sleep by seven, and you have some wine or two, and you're feeling yourself. So when your boo gets home at eight, you're like, I'm, I'm horny, right? And so then he is like tired. He just worked like, let's say, an 11 hour shift. He comes home tired. But because he sees you and he's like, oh, I haven't seen my boo in a long time. I'm not horny right now. I'm fucking tired. But because my girl's horny, I can get horny real quick. Let me just go ahead and please her. Where he, they, he was saying that's what men do. And, and women don't do that. So women will come home tired or a long day from work. And they're just like, no, not today. I'm tired. They'll use and, that as an excuse. And they're like, that's not fair. Like, we will get out of our tiredness for you to please you to make sure you're happy. Why can't women do that the same for men? Are but they that's doing not a it question, to make that's sure not a question that... of interest. That's not a question of interest. She probably wants to fuck, but she just don't feel like it. That's well, the, it is. Because it's, 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 it's um, well, you put, is sex more important to men than women? But I had said, is sex more enjoyable to women, men than women? Yeah. And it's like, well, they're both tired. But the men is willing to go ahead and just suck it up and get into the mood, which you can probably get in the mood quickly than women. So I'm trying playing devil's advocate at the moment. You no. know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go to the chat box. Okay, let's go in the chat box. What's going on in the chat box? So Mark says, I disagree with your friend. I think men enjoy more than women the act itself. Women enjoy the romance and intimacy of it more. He went on to say, thus, I think um, women lo don't lose their sex drive, but rather they don't put out uh, for non-romantic intimacy. Um, I think, I don't know. I think that men have think, more of a yeah. sex drive when they're in their 20s and 30s. And women's sex drive goes up when they're in their later 30s and 40s. I mean, unless you're just like a person that enjoys having sex constantly, as a woman, then you're just, you know, you, you, your sex drive is always going to be up. But men, you know, they, they can't really perform after their 40s and 50s, most of them, or maybe 50s and 60s. Um, yeah, but I yeah, don't... so I, I think that it just we have our 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 different stages of when our peaks are. Um, <clears throat> KB says facts. Um, he said that when I was speaking, um, right, Kyrie right, says, right. <laughs> he did because I saw him put it up. Kyrie says, uh, like you said, Kosi, men reach sexual peak at 18. Um, no, he, he question marked that because. Oh, question mark. Yes. I yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe that's when they're the most horny, but I don't think that's their sexual peak. No, I think their sexual at peak all. is like in their. Honestly, like, I think it all varies because the sexual peak is going to shift. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be that they're, you know, when they're really young, they're hella horny. But when they get older, just like women evolve, men evolve. They, I mean, I don't think men m are going to lose their sex drive once they get and until they get old enough to start losing testosterone. Yeah. But I was, I was telling them, I was like, <laughs> you have to understand women, th different yes. things turn us on than men. You know, you men can instantly get a hard on women. You got to build it up a little bit. So I was like, what are you doing to build that up? I was like, you have to do little things like cooking dinner or like, you know, massaging her feet or just doing little things that she likes. Find out what her love language is and do it. And sh and he was like, Jackie, I found out what her love language is. I'm doing it. And she's still not giving like giving me sex. And I'm and just like, they need to have another conversation. Yeah, no. Yeah. And they are. She probably don't want them no more. No, that's not true. Not necessarily. That's not true. No. Yeah, it, is, it might not have anything Maybe to do with him. Yeah, it might just be her. her. Maybe she's just not comfortable. Like a lot, like you I said, agree. a lot of women have to kind of find themselves and mm -hmm. be comfortable within their body to start like letting themselves out. Like once a woman feels a certain way about herself, it's like 
Yeah. A whole whole new doors open. So you guys don't agree it. that it's hot and heavy in the beginning, like honeymoon of stage. Course. But then Adam, that's an no any relationship. So what does that for you? That you it doesn't make you as horny as in so much. So Kyrie's in mm, here, and he and I, I can't agree with that. Well, there's some people that believe that that's true. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I I I think again, it's all going to depend on a woman's. I mean, it's going to depend on the couple, but I can't necessarily and it. I don't know. I can't. I Look, can't agree. I've never been in that position. So, so everything becomes. And Kyrie's I've been in. in here, I was saying, in a relation for a really long time. And so was, you were always ready to go, my room? I'm not saying I just <laughs> wasn't to the point where I'd be like, oh, I'm not interested, unless there was something going on, and I'm like, nah, you ain't getting none. We're not, you know, that kind of thing. But where I'm just like. If you're not sexually attracted to your partner or you don't want you don't feel like you want to have sex all the time, then there's a, another conversation. Not all the time. Everybody might need to have some rest here and there or whatever. But that's probably another conversation. To I think have. that every relationship has to have sex at least um, more than three times a week. And that's just me. But Kyrie's in here and he says that it, and this is true in a relationship. Once it starts to get regular, you have to do things to spice it up. And, you know, a lot of times um, we go through daily things. Are you OK, Jackie? You need the Hamlet. <laughs> so we go through things. Bless you. Bless you. We go through things that, you know. Um, sorry, <laughs> Jackie's over here choking on the water that she was drinking. Because it wasn't water. Yeah. All right. She's good. She's good. Okay. So, yes, in a relationship, you do go through um, times where, you know, you you don't want to have sex, but you have to think about, you have to think about, like, your daily, I'm sorry, I'm getting thrown off by Jackie Singer <laughs> choke. I'm no, like, yeah. Trying to help it out. It, so it's just um I'm sorry, let me get let me catch my thoughts here. <laughs> Jackie, you fucking me up over here. Girl. Well, if if you know, if you're going through a phase where you don't I mean, everybody goes through okay, we had a long day at work, you know, like maybe I don't feel like it today or whatever and maybe but when you understand each other, it's it's kind of like a mutual understanding. You know what I mean? But I think there's a difference between maybe I guess it goes back to the question, do women enjoy do men enjoy sex more than women or do or do who's who has a higher he sex drive, I guess, is the question. I think not even that you just have to be constant about the things that that you did to catch that man and the things that you did to, like, keep that relationship spicy. You have to continue those things. So sometimes, yes, we do get in the norm in our relationship and we do, you know, go through our daily lives and stress and then you know all that other stuff that comes with it that by the end of the night we just want to go to sleep but what you fail to understand is that your relationship is another job and within that other job you do have to do things to keep the spice nah. going no i i, I do completely agree. agree you have I, to keep the things possible? going to keep those spices whether it's you cook dinner whether it's you making his favorite you know dessert or whatever it is i feel like you're going to a whole nother thing yeah no, no, because because we're about to start you're going to a whole nother thing the question is do men enjoy sex more than women so i'm gonna ask a question because i feel like women probably enjoy sex more than men right but somebody asked how did, like how does it die down what is it that the woman doesn't want to because her friend said that the one sometimes he comes home and he I, doesn't want to or the woman doesn't think, want to so i think uh, back to what you were saying i don't think it has anything to do with um <laughs> men can go out and have sex all the time. It, it, it doesn't have anything to do with hey, who am I going to have sex with or anything like that. So they it's it's like whatever. Like they said men will have no problem getting horny at any given point. So when it comes to enjoying it, I would say maybe women do enjoy it more because maybe they put more thought into it. Yeah, and than the, men do. And we're more selective. Like you, like what we mentioned earlier, we know what we want at this age. We know who we want to be yeah. with, what we're attracted to. It doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with um, okay, you're you know, you're putting in this amount of work or anything like yeah. that. No, it's like how do you make me feel? Exactly. That is the top thing for women. How do you make us feel? You make us feel good. Well, fuck you. I did. If you don't, then <laughs> Girl, that's I don't the know about all day. We might have to take a break. Sure. But but yes. Because men can, men enjoy getting it. Men know they can get it. You know, I'm sure they enjoy that part. But when it comes to the actual act, I think women might enjoy it more than them because we actually put more thought into sex than men do. Men can get it when they can go out and have sex with multiple people in one week. 
It's you like know a, what I mean? It's like a sport for them. For, whereas for us, this and is, I'm not speaking not all men, so I'm not, I don't want all the men coming for me in the <laughs> chat box. But what I'm saying is, when you, I mean, if you want to get to the root of the question, do women enjoy sex more than men? I guess the actual act, I would say women probably do enjoy it more. Um, do maybe men get it more than women? Okay, that's another question, but. <laughs> And you know. what's crazy is that when I posted that poll in um in our ladies' night, a lot of women would said yes. That men enjoy it more? Yes. I don't think they thought the question through. I don't know if they understood the question, but yeah. a lot of women said yes. Yeah. And I was like, what? I think they enjoy, maybe they enjoy <clears throat> getting it more because they might get it more. You know, they, they're out here probably getting it more than women or maybe then a specific, maybe, you know, not all women, but when it comes to the actual act, I think a woman might enjoy it more. So maybe maybe those women are not getting good sex. So that could be it too. So y'all got to check your partners. Like, um, are they going down on you? Are they, like, you also have to get adventurous. What do you like? Go be adventurous when it comes to sex. Like, try different things. Like, try a finger in your butthole. If you don't like it, at least you tried oh, it. Lord. At least you tried it. And if you like it, you like it. If you didn't, you did it. If you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jackie, I'm just saying, like, if you've Jackie not, out here trying to give y'all some spicing it up spicing advice, spicing it no up. Thanks. Some, give me, you know, give me something else. What else should we do? Right, not not a finger in a butthole, though. That's um, gross. All right. Well, I mean, at least 69. 69, you guys have done it, right? Like, that's a good one, too, to get everybody going. Right, Maria? No? Mm -hmm. You haven't done mm -hmm. it? No, uh, yeah. Okay. Don't be asking her no <laughs> question. <laughs> Um, 69 is a, a good one because you're pleasing each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, writing his face. Sit on his face. Uh, yeah, writing his face and backwards cowgirl. Backwards cowgirl. That's another good one. I don't know the names of all these. Um, so that's but when I you, know a back girl's back okay. Girl, yeah, so back, you know you just gotta try different things and just you know find out what it is. So it's so funny because the the whole butthole thing. Like I, Eric, if you guys follow, shout out to the Get Right, um, the world according to Eric. He is one of the co hosts on there. He put a question on his Instagram, and I kind of I I give him a slight uh, a message like you know I'm I'm glad that you talked about this because he posted a video about two women talking about if a man likes uh if you finger his butthole or something like that it said mm -hmm. um that he's gay and then um eric who is um you know gay he said not all gay men like um when you uh like be getting in the butthole or something like that i can't I, I, you have to watch his story i can't explain too much but i was like really interesting i was like i was like you were teaching me a lot the of stuff answers because were interesting his answers, but at the same time, his responses were very informative. So well, that's he, what I'm saying. He people that that no, he he was re he was reposting the yeah. answers that people were saying, but his responses were very informative of what he was talking about because he was saying that even if you're gay, some gay men don't like right. things in their butthole, and that was like new to me. I was like, oh, I thought all gay, gay men like that, but he's like, no. Not a lot, of, not a lot of gay men like you playing with their butthole. So that doesn't make you gay. So <clears throat> also another thing that he brought up is that uh, the G spot is close to you know t for the men it's close to the anal. Well, of course, and so between the the anal and the so the men balls. so men who enjoy you pleasuring them or touching it or playing with that area. Those girls that were in the video they were saying that makes you gay. That makes you gay. If you want you to, and it's like no because. At the end of the day, men's G spot is in that area. So if you pleasure them there, that doesn't make them gay. It just makes them enjoying that part of the sex. So I wanted to bring that up because it was very informative. I, I honestly, I'm, maybe I'm dumb, but I really did think that all gay men liked, um, you know, the butthole um, action. And apparently they don't. So it's literally, this is more information. And I was like, that's very informative stuff. I don't know how to respond so to that. <laughs> Maria, no, that's no. no. Siri, so, Siri's confused. She's so like, "Wait, what? They don't." Ky that's what Kyrie's I said. in the chat box, and he says, "Jackie, you're pushing the envelope. Not too many men will try to, will want or try a finger in the butt." Right, because of that reasoning yeah. that it's it's considered gay or like don't do that. I, it has all. I mean. Yeah, I think that's all preference. I wouldn't want your finger in my butt. I'll no be gay. Thing. You could do mine. I'll be gay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kosi. You know, Kosi, um, take it in the butt. But at the same time, there's women that but actually... That make you gay no, because you take it in the butt. I'm just... No, listen, this, listen. But there's women that I've talked to that also have told me the same thing, that they, they, they enjoy it. And I... 
personally don't like it in the asshole, but there's women that do. So there's just as women, I mean, just as men, there's also women that enjoy it in the ass, and there's women that don't enjoy it in the ass. I can just imagine somebody tuning in right at this very moment. <laughs> <laughs> the women take it in the ass. Wait, what? But I mean, it's it's real life. It's real sex. Like, that's, that's yeah. Because you have to understand, you have to know your partner too. Like if your partner wants to do anal and you're not about that anal life, then I mean, and plus you'd be so, you'd, you'd be surprised at what you, you have to grab the mic. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I keep pushing the mic away. But you would be surprised at what you actually like. I think sometimes we think of things and we're like, oh hell no, I'm not going to try that. But until you do, that right. will be at the top of your list. Yeah. Yes, that's true too. That's true too. So, uh, <clears throat> so the question is: Is sex more important to men or women? Or I'm sorry, is uh, do, do men enjoy sex more than women? I will have to disagree and say no. If you're a woman who's not enjoying sex, then you're not doing it right, or you haven't figured out what you like yet. Yeah, you have to find out what you like, what you want, and say it and communicate it to your partner yes. because what you like may not be the same as what the partner they had before likes it can be completely different so you guys have to get to know each other get to know what each other you know what your g spots are what you like what you want and and communicate that and once you get that your sex is going to be amazing and you're going to enjoy it to the fullest hmm. maria perch perch um for real yeah perch so you everyone the in the chat box, thank you, you for being worried about Jackie and <laughs> how she was doing. What happened? KB was like, y'all killing Jackie? Damn. Oh, so what happened was. Kosi was like, she's fine. And you over there like I was dying. Red, I was. Couldn't breathe. What happened was I took. I couldn't even think right. I took a sip of something. I don't know what somebody said and I was going to comment. So when I was about to talk, I ended up like taking the liquid into the wrong side and i couldn't breathe so i literally had to put myself on mute because i knew that i was gonna cough and literally the the uh the liquid came out of my nose i was really choking over here yeah i caught it from the front so (laughs) eyeballs were hanging out i was like oh my god God." i was dying but you know they say if you're if they're coughing that's a good sign because that means that they're breathing well so i was okay go ahead good yeah, um, for real. That's why I was like, she's fine. She's yeah. Coughing. She's the fact that I'm coughing, that's a good sign. That means that the air yeah. is coming out some way. Kosi didn't even budge. <laughs> Kosi um, was uh, like, y'all need to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, let's go. That's my producer. That's why I'm here. Hey, no. that's why Jerry I'm here. was like, if she dies, she dies. Keep it rolling. <laughs> Dude, I, I couldn't even think of what to say. I'm watching That's my you. producer. You, like keep you need the Heimlich. The show must come if on. any other I'm show needs a producer, out. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, the show I must was, go on. I, I was know. I gave a thumbs up. I'm like, I'm fine. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I was like, oh Lord, I can't, I can't, I can't even think. Um next so, time somebody chokes, we'll transition a lot smoother, guys. <laughs> I was I was looking at Cozy like, take the fucking mic. Like I I I, I can't talk right now. <laughs> looking at Jackie was, like, don't die, girl. And you're like, talk, and then you're like, ah, oh, uh, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, how am I going to go home and tell my mom Jackie choked on the Next time we'll do it. And Kosi told me to keep going. <laughs> yeah, I was good. As long as you're choking and you're making that sound Fuck of coffee, that. you're fine. Yeah. She was like, you're you breathing. need the Heimlich? Yeah, I just needed to catch my breath, but it was I was choking. But I wouldn't. Obviously, there's no food. There's just liquid. Did so you I need like some type of inheritance, and is Kosi a part of it? Because this bitch was like, actually, it's Anna, Anna, okay. and I think Junior. Okay, as long as we know it's not Kosi, because that bitch would have left me dead. <laughs> I would. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. People bitch, I'm a mute your ass. You're done. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> not one word. Get here. <laughs> All right, what's going on? Oh, my God. Okay, so, yeah, Jerry was like, Jackie good? Kosi's like, yeah, she good. He's like, you want the inheritance, don't you? <laughs> um, hey, really quick, there's people in our old chat box. Shout out to Irma, Vani. Um, I see you guys. Um, you guys have to come over to the to the new chat box. There's somebody called the 702. They're from Las Vegas. Hey! They're saying good show. They're called Worldwide. Hey! That's right. Thank you for listening. The Worldwide and the 702. Um, Vani was saying that she does not like the suspense, so no, I don't want to read it. I'm ready. Irma says, not tonight, honey. I have a headache. Oh, she was quoting somebody. If couples feel that there's a disconnect in the relationship, there will be no desire to have sex. I agree with Myra. It's about being open to keep your relationships close, connected, and emotional healthy. So, yeah. 
So yeah, you guys got to come join the new chat box. It's in our app. So I, I think isn't that um that also shows in in the app? You just they go through um Ladies mm-hmm. Night Radio Show and then yeah. So we can monitor both. Yeah. What's going on, Maria? Uh, let me just tell you, KB was like, y'all better than me. I'll be slandering the fuck out of Pete if he chokes on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do that next time. <laughs> no, I, I, the show must go on. I was going to be fine, KB. I was fine. Oh, man. All right, so let's go. Okay, so that's our, our get with the whole sex um, more enjoyable to men than women. It depends on each person. So now I want to jump into the listener question. Are you guys ready for the listener question? Yes. Are you really? Because I don't know. Like, this question has a lot of eyebrows raised, especially Myra when I sent it to her. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? Let me hear it. (laughs) Are you sure? No. You you ready? Hell yes. Play. Are you ready? You ready? All right. Yes. Today's listener question is, are girls that are on birth control more likely to cheat because consequences are low? So once again, let me repeat that question. Are girls that are on birth control more likely to cheat because the consequences are low, a.k.a. getting pregnant? So yeah. this was a question that was sent from one of our listeners and they 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 said, "Hey Jackie, you know, I I got this question. I need to find out. Can you ladies help me out? I got this question. Are girls that are on birth control more likely to cheat because the consequences are low, aka getting pregnant?" That don't make no damn sense. Yeah, that that <laughs> the first, that question Stupid. threw me the fuck off. Oh yes. my. I'm like, "Wait, what?" God. Since when does birth control determine mm-hmm. right. how much respect you have for yourself? Right. Free, how, Myra. how you loyal Say it again. <laughs> how loyal you are, dignity. Word. I mean, respect self respect for your partner. I mean, like what the f- I, I, whoever wrote this question or whoever d- d- and we're not said, judging you girl we're not, or yeah boy. we're not judging, we're not them, judging you but this is but just like an you honest have interesting partners truth. or interesting experiences i'm gonna say if that's the case have an open relationship if they're gonna cheat they're gonna cheat regardless if they're on the pill yeah. or if they're not but, on the right. pill but, but is that the first thing though you worried more about pregnancy than you are an std like i mean I yeah i mean like you, why even be in a relationship yeah at this point i mean I'm just, if, exactly. if those are your thoughts, why would you be in a relationship if you're gonna cheat? And Word. then, oh, guess what? I'm, first of all, if you're letting being on birth control, you're letting somebody come inside of you. That's fucking gross. Yeah. And because, oh, you know what? I'm not and gonna get pregnant. That was Saturday, and then come Tuesday. What? <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's actually and not that Thursday, gross. What? But okay, it, no, when yes, you, it is. Um, if you're not in a relationship Kelsey, with that person. when you're in a relationship with someone, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, okay. Well, you're not in a relationship, I'm sure. But when you're in a relationship with someone and then you go out and you sleep with somebody else and you're like, it's okay, I'm birth control. You do whatever you need to do. The fuck? I think this person is just, um, what is it called? They are, they are thinking of things that are not there. Or they're instigating. Instigating or paranoid. That's the that's the word I'm trying to looking for. They're paranoid. We're asking for a friend. Or are you cheating on the old girl? Because or do they just want to make sure they're on birth control so that they won't get anybody pregnant <laughs> <laughs> so that was our our question jerry what's this, this, what's this question? jerry <laughs> oh my god <laughs> damn jerry you just wow. kidding. we love you jerry it wasn't you we wow love you. that is so crazy <laughs> y'all leave Myra. my bestie alone <laughs> jerry i'm sorry can you leave my bestie alone we love you jerry <laughs> that's messed up how are you gonna put my bestie on blast like that <laughs> Dude, that is so funny. Anyways. But you know what? I mean, if that's what the girl told you, like, hey, I'm on birth control, let's do this, then, I mean, you might need to do a little bit of evaluating on what type of girls you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Word. That's what I would say. I just think that if the girl's going to cheat, she's going to cheat regardless if she is on the pill or, or not. not. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. It has nothing to do with being on the pill because she can just be with you and have eyes for you, but be on the pill because she don't want to have any more kids. Yeah, yeah. that's at true. the moment. Yep. But you have to understand that, like I said, if she's going to cheat, she's going to cheat. Oh, so did this question come from a different point perspective? Like, oh, it, do, do, was he was whoever was it a male or a female that asked? The question? Um, it was a male that asked. So did he ask this question because he thought, oh, 
um, because she's on the pill, maybe she'll go mess around with somebody else. And she, you know what I mean? Is or that may, why? Or it kind of was like she got on the pill recently. Does that mean that she's cheating? No, it doesn't uh, mean. No, she's okay. So then that changes the question. It just no, means she's being careful because she's having sex and she knows that oopsie doops can happen. Yeah. Also, there's some women who don't have sex at all, don't even have a sexual partner, and take birth control to manipulate well, their, their hormones periods. and ma- mm-hmm. manipulate their periods. Yeah. So. This may not pertain to you, but, you know, I, and so, I don't and think you so. Know, when my mom once told me, you judge how you live. So, you know, you also got to think about, is like that how you're living? And you judging your girl off of because she wants to be on the hormone pill? Like, you know, think about it. I feel it. I feel like that's a selfish question because you do have men who pressure women to go on birth control. And so then, in this situation, when you have a woman who is actually on birth control, and then he's thinking, oh, maybe she'll cheat on me because there's less, she's less likely to get pregnant. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck do you want? Do you want your woman to be on birth control or not? And like, like Yeah, that's... Because it's yeah. like... It's like no matter what a woman does, she's down if she's she down if she do if she she's if she down does, if she does, she does she's down if she doesn't, and that's not fair. So I think it's a very selfish question. Mm. Yeah, it's it. just a more it. you know insecurities maybe. Who knows? Yeah. All right. Well, that wraps up our listener question. Thank you to that person. I keep all the questions anonymous unless you want me to say your name and shout you out. So please keep sending those questions to Ladies Night Radio Show and we will keep answering them. Um, All right. So our next topic of the night is Shakira and Shakira and J-Lo headlining Super Bowl. That's right. So they have just announced that they will be performing at the Super Bowl uh, February 2020. What are your thoughts, ladies? So I know a lot of people are excited and happy that we have two Latina women um, showcasing and and being in limelight, which has never been done before. This is the first time ever. And there's some women that are not too happy about it. So let's go ahead and jump into this topic really quick um, before we end the show. I know that we had a discussion in our group chat, Maria, Myra, and Kosi, and, you know, we all have our different um, perspectives on this. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Myra. And Myra, what do you think about Shakira and J-Lo headlining the Super Bowl February 2020? <laughs> um, I mean, I think it's a relevant decision. Uh, J-Lo's on top of every, I mean, she's, She's basically the talk of the town right now, so it makes sense that she was chosen to be. Of course, it's J Lo. Yeah, I mean it's awesome. I mean another thing that I read too is if no other acts or no other men are, um, I guess, contracted to perform, then it would be the first time in history that two women are performing um, on the halftime show. That too. Alone. Oh yeah. So that's if there's no other acts that are coming on with them. So that would be good. I mean, I think. Um, I, mean, I think it's a great choice. I mean, I think I think it makes sense. I'm not, you know, uh, uh, all everything else aside. I think it makes sense that J Lo was chosen. I do too. I think that she is in the limelight right now. She just came out with Hustlers. She just got engaged with Alex Rodriguez. She um, performed for Motown Records for their anniversary. She, and it's J Lo. Like everybody knows J Lo. Everybody loves J Lo. I know. Person, I love you, J Lo. I know that you're not the best actress in the world. Yeah. You're not the best singer in the world. But you honestly have the best, like, w- one of the best work ethics out there. You put it down. You're working, working, working. You're doing what you got to do. And I'm a fan of yours. I'm a fan of uh, J-Lo, her work ethic, just her putting herself out there. She's never in drama. She keeps it classy. It's J-Lo. How can you, like, I love J-Lo. I don't know. If you don't love J-Lo, you're a fucking hater because she doesn't do anything bad. She's not drama she's not in like you know she just likes to love she she loves love she yes she's probably the next elizabeth taylor because she's been in so many relationships but at the end of the day she just wants to find love just like most women but at the end of the day she's working her ass off j-lo has my love and respect and i can't wait for the day that i meet her because i'm a huge fan of her of her work ethic so i mean in our chat box we were also talking about i mean maria had a lot of things to say on the politics side i'm sure we're going to get into that in a second kb right that's kb right yeah. he, he said yeah. uh shakira is better than j-lo i said that last night on the show i do agree that shakira is a much better, better how singer. better how that's my question well she, he didn't say better singer he oh. just said better well here's the thing he said uh, global wise Oh, globally, maybe. No, maybe. J-Lo's better globally. Well, globally, J-Lo's better. 
I would say maybe in America. Yes. Yeah, but yes. globally, uh, yeah, well, I no. guess in America, worldwide, yes. I guess maybe Shakira. Sha- I think Shakira internationally. Music. Shakira, but better probably, how? Music wise. Music wise, I think Shakira is. Shakira is a better singer. She has a better voice. Yes, but J Lo is known for just, the hips. yeah, and I mean honestly. I, I do agree that J Lo. I mean, um, Shakira has a much better voice and is probably it's a more talented singer than J Lo. J Lo's not honestly. I've never been a big fan of her acting, and I've never ever been a big fan of her music. Um, the only times I've actually really liked her music was when when she was with Lo Cool J or Ja Rule, and um, but Shakira never really needed anybody to make her hits. Right, she just made hits herself. Like you said, J Lo has great work ethic. She has a great body. She I mean, she's on top of, I mean, she's on every Instagram post right now. She's all over social media. She's all over the billboards. If you watched Hustlers, she was fucking impressive on the pole. So, I mean, she's and all she the, learned that. She, she didn't know how to strip or be on the pole. She's all over the place. Um, so it makes sense. I think right now she's relevant. If 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 yes. if they would have made this decision um, maybe six months from now when she wasn't making a movie and she wasn't all over the place, it'd be like, what the fuck, J-Lo? Why? You know, right. but but I guess um, right now it she makes sense that she's... Re- it, it, she, it makes she sense. She wore that dress again. She's relevant. She's at everywhere. The, exactly. I can see that. At the moment, she's relevant, so oh, that's so KB, why they're announcing it. KB's actual talent. So, KB, I get it. Like, But before um, Shakira crossed over to the English, like this song, Whenever, Wherever... And I'm gonna tell you this real quick. This song made her popular in the U.S., but it also created a lot of um, unhappy Latino fans because they were like, "She's selling out. This is not the Shakira we know. She's blonde. What the hell?" In the Shakira that we fell in love with in the beginning, Shakira was like emo. She was like redhead emo, and her voice is beautiful. But they love that rawness to her. And when she created this album. She had so much hate from the U. from the Latinos that she's like, oh, she's she's fake. She's what? Why does she have to dye her hair blonde? She looked great as a redhead or as a brunette. But it worked for her. It, yeah. No, it Be, worked for her. I, I mean, Thalia, it, Thalia was a we loved Thalia growing no, up. No, I get she it. She tried to sing in English and it didn't work. It worked for Shakira. And now Shakira is an international. But a artist. lot of Latino artists, I mean, Latino yeah. fans gave her a lot of shit for it. Like you're becoming a freaking uh, stereotype. You're crossing over. You're being this and that. And so I get it. So I love Shakira. I actually went to go see her when she performed these songs. I'm a huge Shakira fan, but I'm also a huge fan of her when before she crossed over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. I agree with KB. J Lo's way more popular in the U S. Shakira's more worldwide because yes. you know she's 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 gonna yes. be the she's the artist that that's star- that's an actual artist with raw talent. J Lo started off as a backup dancer. And then got her big break when she was in the Selena movie. And then from Selena. Yeah, that was her big break. Then when she started singing Selena, then all of a sudden she's like, okay, maybe I'll give this singing a try. But singing is not your talent. It's Neither not. is acting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just dancing. She's just yeah, a performer. Yeah, I feel like you had a lot to it, say. It, it's so just what? dancing. Yeah. Um, so, yes, you know, we have a group chat that goes on with the ladies. And yesterday, um, you know, I was really upset when Jackie sent that because I feel like with all this stuff that's going on in the NFL and, and you know, people taking the knee and then um, the owners of the NFL teams, you know, coming down on some of the players and still being so raw. I feel a little annoyed that it was two Latina women that were asked to do this. You feel like they're being exploited. Yes. You know, and, and they're they're like happily accepting it because it is a big thing to perform for halftime right yes and so i do understand that they went for j-lo because she turned 50 she looks amazing you know she has this new movie coming out she just wore this dress that she wore what 10 20 years ago but i just like as a latina woman i just felt like oh my god like no like why i just i I wasn't they're making a spectacle out of them yes because i I just, I, I was really upset and, you know, in, in texting and all the texts that I think you and I were going back and forth. Yeah. It, this morning I woke up with, you know, a, I would say like an open heart. And 
like I do want to applaud them for the work that they do and how hard they work. And like Jackie says, like, you know, J-Lo, like she just came out on Instagram because she hit a certain number on Instagram and blah, blah, blah. And for me, like, you know, J-Lo is J-Lo. Like she's pretty big. But for her to be humble enough to be so happy because she hit that number, like I can't even be mad at her because she's going to do this this halftime show. But I, I, I am a little still annoyed because we're going to be the first show under Jay-Z that comes out and hopefully it'll be something positive and we're not just being used to to perform and because he couldn't find nobody else or or you know people are still feeling some type of way and he didn't just choose two women to do this and and there's so definitely taking a, advantage. There's That's definitely hard. a strategy behind what they're doing. They're not just doing it just because. There's definitely a strategy I behind it. I hope it's it. positive, and though, KB, and not stupid. KB even said that the NFL is definitely targeting the Latino community because it's in Miami, and these are the two most prominent names. Mm-hmm. Even though they're not from Miami, she's from the Bronx, and she's... Right. Uh, where is Shakira from? From, uh, I think, Colombia? Yeah, she's Colombian, I think. Yeah. So, but they're targeting the Latino community because it's in Miami. I mean, Pitbull wasn't part of it and he's from Miami. So, so I'm going mean, to say this too. They could be also focusing on the Latino community during Super Bowl because of everything that is going on. They want to bring it to light as far as the immigrants. The Latino community has a lot to say right now because of everything that's going on. There is a lot of people speaking up for Latinos from, you know, being deported, you know, the kids being separated. It's like Right now is the time to pay attention to the Latinos. I mean, yes, a lot of uh, people that are they're being deported, they're not legal U.S. citizens. But at the end of the day, they do a lot for the U.S. country. And I think that it could be bringing some light that, like, we need to come together. I know, but but I've ne- I have not seen J-Lo behind any, any you don't type have of to movement at the same for time. the Latino community. Have we as ladies night? I, I do. I posted a lot of shit over that shit. And I'm angry Wait a minute. Hold on. Posting from actually doing stuff, Maria, is completely different. We can easily go to the border and be taking food, drinks, clothes. That is true. Sports, and we haven't done that. that so I'm going to call yeah. us out because we can't be just Well, let's do shit. it. Let's do we it. We can I'm, plan okay, it. Okay. Okay. But we haven't done anything. From us posting shit. I know. But and actually doing shit are two. Two different but things, Jackie, so I'm not like, going to go ahead and say, but you're, "Oh yeah, we post and bring awareness but to you're it." Saying, no, but you're saying that 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 is supposed to, you know, they they brought these two Latina women because we also don't know the what they do behind doors. We also don't know what they do I behind like, doors. I feel like we're assuming that when Jay Z when Jay when Jay Z made this decision that he included everyone and told everyone what the plan was and what his vision was. I honestly feel like he joined the NFL and was like, okay, well, this is my agenda, so I'm going to choose these two women to um, headline the Super Bowl. And so I think that we're assuming that this was just this whole movement when he probably was just like, no, I want them to. Like, why be, why be, um, Uh, yeah, why be, why be blaming or like placing um, a lot of pressure onto J Lo and Shakira when they're just doing their fucking job. That's somebody, why somebody employed them to do this. And yeah. so why are we upset of them and not at the person and in charge? Because the person in well, charge. Well, they accept it. Because the person in charge said that he he wanted to join the NFL and his first minutes. thing was to seven minutes. His okay. first thing was to um. His it's first, okay. um, what he wanted to do was address the social injustice that's happening with yeah. co- with college. And, and it's not like J-Lo needs money. She could have said no. She could have so said no. Because Rock Nation Sports is in charge of the halftime Super Bowl, I think they're going to make these type of moves. Yeah. And like what I was talking to Maria about in the chat box, she's like, well, you know, no one else agreed to do it. You don't know who he asked to do it. It could have been... Um, I mean, you don't know who else didn't agree to do it. You know I what agree. I mean? That he's J Lo doesn't J Lo's not out here I, I I'm agree, hurting baby. for money. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know about Shakira, but uh, Shakira has international money, so I doubt yep. that she's out here hurting for money too. So who well, who would you expect? Nobody. Who is would you expect Rock Nation to uh, to employ uh, Maroon Five again? Or hell like, yeah, give them the white you know, band performances. Uh, shit, uh, that's the what they red, want. The Red Hot Chili Peppers Ooh. or some shit. You know what I mean? The NFL. That's what they want. Give them the white performances. But that would People defeat. Don't that would defeat the whole People purpose really of Jay Z signing a contract with the NFL as Rock Nation Sports being in charge of the right. halftime show. Would defeat the whole purpose. I know. It's like she said earlier. 
damn if you do, damn, damn if, if you, you don't. don't. So honestly, I mean, I'm cool with the halftime show. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. So KB, I'd like to know, you say Jay-Z yep, deal with the NFL with sure involves is. this performance. Of course what, it does. What do you What do you mean by that? Like, He's in charge it, of it. No, I know, but okay. I thought that he meant like it, it was already in the works. He's in charge of it. And I believe that J-Lo is signed to... I know Shakira is. I don't know about J-Lo. Oh. Well, at the end of the day, like, literally, I'm excited about this. I know that it's bad timing, but having two women, and not only two women, but two Latina women being the showcase of the NFL um, Super Bowl is a big deal. So I'm going to celebrate this. Regardless of the timing, I'm going to celebrate this because it's a big movement for women. There's a big women uh, movement for Latinas. And we don't need men to make it a show. Like, people are like, where's Pitbull? Where's this person? Like, fuck that. I love Pitbull, but Pitbull does not need to be in this. I'm okay with J-Lo and Shakira because yeah. those two women in general have such a big following there have made amazing music and they deserve this they've been working their asses off they don't need men to help them sell these tickets they are going to do a phenomenal job they're going to give you a phenomenal show and i'm so proud of them so shout out to freaking j-lo and freaking shakita i'm a huge fan of both of them so shout out to them these ladies have been years in the making of working their asses off and the fact that they finally get a limelight in the fucking Super Bowl that is, you know, predominantly white male, they're going to be seen. I love it. So it fucking sucks the bad timing, but I'm so excited for Shakira's hips don't lie and JLo's booty. You know, it's all, I'm all excited. They're, they're, they're going to give you a phenomenal show because this is what these women do and this is why they're on the map. So... Um, it's just unfortunate that the timing is sucks, yeah. but, and I hope that Jay-Z is moving in the right direction I with this. I'm, this. I'm putting my faith in that he is. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you really are, were against all of this, you know, Colin Kaepernick, he's looking for a job back in the NFL. And if you were really against the NFL, you would not be watching it. Exactly. So that, and that comes down to a lot more details that we can go into later. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up tonight's show. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I see you guys all in the chat box. Please go ahead and, and um, let us know what you think. And follow us on Ladies Night Radio Show. Maria, go ahead and give your sign out right there. All right, you guys. You guys can catch me on Instagram, Crazy Maria, double A and an underscore at the bottom. Um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your weekend and an amazing and safe week. One love. Hey, Myra, what's going on over there? Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in, uh, everybody in the chat box. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Mira8, M-E-E-R-A-H, the number eight, like Kobe. Hey, like Kobe, she said. Kosi, tell them where they can find my producer at. You, yeah, girl. You my producer. Um, hi. Okay, I'm not used to be on the mic, so I'm a little like... So You've my, been on my, the mic all night, girl. I don't have a tagline or anything. But my What's your Instagram? My, my Instagram is call me Miss Grant. M-I-S-S Grant. Yes. Call me Miss Grant. But she's my producer. You guys cannot take her. Sorry. She's my producer. And thank you for tuning in. You guys, make sure you follow us on Ladies Night Radio Show. Just really quick announcement. We will be having our first live audience show on our 50th episode October 11th, Friday night. So make sure you guys stay tuned with all the details. We will be posting it on our Instagram and our Facebook so and our Instagram, so, I mean our Twitter. So make sure you guys stay tuned because we want you guys all there. We would love to have you all there. And Myra and Maria are so excited to have perform live audience. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Myra's gonna do a special performance. Myra's gonna FYI. twerk for y'all. Myra's gonna twerk for y'all. Myra's gonna shake those hips. <laughs> Kyrie, we love you. Kyrie, Keith, everybody yes, in the chat KB, box. KB, Mark, Liz. Thank you so much for listening. Ch Ray. TJ, Ray, yeah. Kirsten, Moni, we see you. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We love you guys. Oh, and, and crazy and, ass Jerry. And everybody and else crazy on ass Jerry. One. Irma, Vani, yes. Vani, Irma. Irma, we and our and a shout out to our Vegas. um no what's Canada oh what's his name Rod Rod from Canada love you is he I mean I, I he sent us a mail I gotta post that later yes 
But we appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Mysterious Jax. This is Ladies Night Radio Show. And just remember one thing, ladies. You you are are enough. enough. I love you. Have a safe weekend. Check it out. Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Check it out. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at? Yeah. Where the ladies at? Where the ladies at?